So we should be out fishing. And this just means so much. A calm and beautiful fall day like this would have been ideal to head out and haul traps. But Richard Larrabee Jr. is one of many Maine fishermen who instead gathered on the Stonington Fish Pier Sunday afternoon for a rally. He said he would have preferred to be out on the water, but felt compelled to stand up in solidarity with his fellow fishermen. If you're not here fighting for this, you know, there might not be another day. Like many of his peers, he's worried the 90% reduction ordered by the National Marine Fisheries Service will destroy not just his livelihood, but also his ability to pass on Maine's fishing heritage. You know, 90% reduction decimates this whole town. It, there'll be no, there's no boats, there's no reason to go fishing. Uh, you know, our children's futures, you know, if my son wants to go fishing, you know, he doesn't have that option. Others talk about the anxiety of it all, living day to day doing what they love, but always wondering if and when it will be taken away. In back of your mind each and every day, uh, you're just wondering when that rulemaking is going to come down, uh, who's, who's fighting for us, who's fighting against us, um, and, and how much leverage do those that are fighting against us have? Folks here stress the importance of Maine lobster men and women staying unified in their fight against the proposed cuts to the industry. And they also said it's important that they now take this fight beyond the state of Maine. I think that there's just so many ways that social media, sending emails and making phone calls um, will have a huge effect because we have the power as fishermen uh, to educate those people and we need to do that. In the meantime, those gathered here say they will never give up a heritage built over the past 150 years, and they vowed to keep fighting. You are all fishermen here today. As fishermen, we were not built to break, and we will not quit. In Stonington, Beth Jones, ABC7 and Fox 22.